Elon Musk's $44 billion acquisition of Twitter faces its first legal challenge. The Florida Pension Fund has sued Musk and Twitter, claiming that the billionaire's investment in the platform will not allow the deal to be legally closed until 2025. A class action proposal filed today by the Orlando Police Pension Fund in the Chancery Court, Delaware, also declares that Twitter's board of directors has violated its trustee obligations by allowing the transaction to close. In addition to Musk and Twitter, former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, current Twitter CEO Parag Agrawal, and the company's board of directors were among the defendants. In a message to Engadget, Professor and M. Lipton of Tulane Law School states that the proceedings raise some very new issues under the Delaware corporate law. Under the law known as Section 203, shareholders who own more than 15% of the company may not participate in the merger without the approval of two-thirds of the remaining shares. Without this approval, the merger cannot be completed for another three years. Attorneys at the fund said Mr. Musk initially owned about 10% of Twitter's stake, which does not seem to apply to Section 203. However, Musk claims to have signed an agreement with Morgan Stanley, who owns 8.8% of the stake and former CEO Jack Dorsey, who owns 2.4%, to proceed with the deal. By combining the shares of these parties, Mr. Musk and his allies in the takeover transaction are said to be stakeholders under Section 203 the fundamentals presented by the court in this case. If you agree with the reason, it means that you must delay the merger or obtain the approval of the shareholders who represent at least two-thirds of the ownership of the company. Since Article 203 is often not filed, the question of whether the relationship between Mr. Musk and these parties actually counts for statutory purposes is an open question and how it is. It would be interesting to see if it unfolds, Lipton wrote. Details of Musk's highly complex $44 billion acquisition of Twitter have been published since the social media platform accepted the billionaire's offer last month. The New York Times reported that Mr. Musk promised investors five to ten times the return on their investment if the deal was closed. Part of this deal has been scrutinized, including its reliance on foreign investors and whether Mr. Musk bought shares in the company to influence his leadership. However, antitrust experts say the merger is unlikely to be blocked by the FTC. Authorities will decide next month whether to approve the merger promptly or start a longer investigation.